precarious position where um, it will be very, very difficult for members to survive. Still are not actually out of it yet um, mentally. A lot of people are still mentally have they have that mental lockdown still from since then because we're not used to that. Some persons we spoke with this morning described the present dilemma as rather unfortunate and are hoping that the situation could be brought under control quickly. Christina John, GBN News. Some felt that the government added insult to public injury yesterday as officials at the press conference kept alluding to a breach of regulations. The consensus among some people was that locals should not be made to shoulder the blame when it was apparent that this spike was discovered at a property where nine overseas guests tested positive. GBN's Trelona Charles followed yesterday's press conference as government officials referenced breaches and need for adherence to protocols. The government of Grenada held a press conference on Sunday to address the discovery of 26 new COVID-19 cases. This discovery takes Grenada's total confirmed cases from 45 to 71. Chief Medical Officer Dr. Sean Charles said there may be a further increase in the numbers. Minister of Health Nicholas Steele and COVID-19 Advisory Committee member Dr. George Mitchell both said that the government and the public were prepared for the breaches that occurred. Every speaker as far as I know, every representative from the Ministry of Health and from the COVID-19 committee uh, continued to uh, advise the population that we need to take the necessary measures to protect ourselves. Every day it came as though we were over preaching the messages, but uh, that was our mantra because we knew at some point in time that some sort of breach would occur. Sisters and brothers, we have, we have consistently said that there is a risk, that none of our systems, as strong as they are, are perfect. There have been breaches in the past, and we have dealt with them. There will be breaches in the future as well, and we will deal with them. Minister Still said while many Grenadians are asking for the borders to be closed, it is not an option at this time. He said what is needed is compliance from the public. We simply cannot close our borders as a nation we we recognize that we do have to keep our borders open and, and put as much controls as possible on this minister of education emily Peer, in her statement encouraged grenadians to have faith and continue to follow protocols as the country moves forward the government is still awaiting results for the tests of over 200 hotel employees trelona charles gbn news Members of the public have questions they will like the Ministry of Health to answer. They have responded to suggestions that the Sandals Resort's outbreak lays squarely at the feet of workers who breached the protocol. We go back to Trelona Charles for an analysis of the public feedback on the latest developments in tonight's Social Buzz feature. She captured the thoughts of members of the public who called into GBN's To The Point program. social buzz where we shine a light on the thoughts and concerns of our online audience tonight we listen to the concerns of our callers on gbn's radio programs which touched on the recent covid 19 spike we just have to close the borders in because all the cases that we receive are imported related close the borders we too damn lazy we could we could sustain ourselves here in grenada we cannot close the border you know, because we have nothing in grenada here all we have have to do is wear our mask and do what we have to do because right now Peter paid for Paul. Thank you. No excuse people for being upset because we have been cooperative over the months and these things it, it should not happen. I don't see anybody taking government responsibility to manage whoever. This should never ever happen. Don't care who you are, whether you're all inclusive or not, you have to protect the Grenadian citizens because we discover every time these things happen with somebody from overseas. We had the Minister of Health from the very beginning talking about the second and the third wave. But everything just coming up. Just see that, but he knew already in advance that there will be a second wave and a third wave. And it was not if, but when. So it's a 
pandemic. And so let us not fool ourselves. And I'm telling Grenadians, these things are all predicted in the Word of God. It may not have the name that we know, but it has references to these things that happen in these days. I, I would say that our workers have been set up by our administration. They have set up our people to, to catch COVID. And I think that the Prime Minister, I understand he has to address the nation. He needs to tell us how that happened, who is responsible for that kind of arrangement, and whoever is responsible should pay the, take the ultimate responsibility of resigning, because they have compromised our country, they have compromised our workers, we have two standards, one for locals and one for foreigners. That's it for tonight's Social Buzz. As always, if you'd like to have your thoughts and concerns shared, be sure to comment on GBN's Facebook page. This is Network News. Coming up after the break, NDC calls for investigation into outbreak of COVID-19 at Sandals Resorts. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Christmas is happening. Christmas is happening. Christmas is happening. At Republic Bank, no interest rate. Happening. We can't move up. Happening. Christmas time. Happening. At Republic Bank. And 2020 on a merry note at Republic Bank. As we spread the holiday cheer with our Make It Happen loans. Republic Bank is here to lighten up your spirit with quick approvals and cash prizes valued at over $10,000. Christmas is happening at Republic Bank. Republic Bank. We're the one for you. Christmas in Grenada plus flow equals a tablet for your family. Get a Samsung A7 tablet for only $80 when you add your mobile to your home services bundle. Save 50% on your mobile bill and spend the holidays connected with faster internet speeds. Call us today at 1-800-804-2994 and sign up. The 61st Annual Meeting of Shareholders of Grenada Electricity Services Limited will be held virtually on Zoom as well as at the Grenada Trade Center Annex on Thursday, 17 December at 10.30 in the a.m. Given the risk of COVID-19, shareholders are strongly encouraged to attend the meeting virtually and submit a proxy for voting. In keeping with COVID-19 protocols, limited seating is available for in-person attendees. To reserve a seat or for information, please call Grenelec at 237 extension 312. It's Waggity Super Sunday! Super Sunday! Get ready for the event of all events! Super Sunday! The biggest bingo event of the year! And this year, it will be held online on Sunday, December 20th from 6 p.m. You can win 25,000 US dollars! Yes, US 25,000 dollars! Tickets are only 20 US dollars! Available from GoToFed.com! Box offices island wide and also from our main office at Bro Street Mall. Super Sunday! Super Sunday! Get your tickets early and join the fun and excitement online. Play Wacky T Virtual Bingo! The new way to play Bingo. Yes! Do you want to win loads of prizes this Christmas with BIP? Join our Spin to Win promotion to win exciting prizes daily. Here's how. Go to the Discover section of the BIP app. Search for the Spin to Win channel and click Follow. Once you have followed the channel, click the Spin Now button, choose your device type, select your country, and wait for the wheel to start spinning. Be quick. When your wheel lands on the correct price of the day, screenshot the price and send your screenshot to the Spin to Win chat to enter the promotion. Click the Daily Updates button to get updates on the prize you are requesting required to spin for each day and also to know if you are the lucky winner of the day. A Merry Christmas, spin and win with Bib. We wish you a cherry Christmas, we wish you a cherry Christmas, we wish you a cherry Christmas and a prosperous new year. The management and staff of Arisa Credit Union wishes you a joyous and peaceful Christmas. May you and your loved ones continue to be safe as you enjoy the festive season. We wish you a cherry Christmas. We wish you a cherry Christmas. We wish you a cherry Christmas and a prosperous new year. Arisa Credit Union. Your financial freedom. Your future. We're here to make you happy because that's what we do. 
food is fundamental. And at Caribbean Agro Industries Limited, we source premium quality wheat and other ingredients so you get the best results in the kitchen. Bakeries and farms. For over 35 years, we've supplied Grenada with the finest flour and animal feed. The tastiest cakes, pastries, or breads are baked with the region's finest flour. Buy the products you've trusted for all these years. Baker's Pride, Supreme, and Sunshine Flour. Get the best of your farm animals with our master mix feed brands. Support local. Buy products that are made in Grenada. Call us on 440-2954 or visit us at Mount Gay St. George or check our Facebook page. Caribbean Agro Industries Limited, a subsidiary of ADM. Unlocking nature and rich in life. GBN leads, the others follow. This segment is brought to you by Republic Bank. Christmas is happening, Christmas is happening, Christmas is happening at Republic Bank. No interest rate happening, we can't move on. happening, Christmas time happening at Republic Bank. End 2020 on a merry note at Republic Bank as we spread the holiday cheer with our Make It Happen loans. Republic Bank is here to lighten up your spirit with quick approvals and cash prizes valued at over $10,000. Republic Bank, we're the one for you. The lone power generating company on the island has found itself in the throes of the COVID-19 outbreak. One of its employees has contracted the virus. This was discovered during the contact tracing of the recent COVID cluster. The company said in a press statement that the team member in question has had no direct work-related contact with customers. According to Grenlick, the individual is in quarantine and staff members who have been in direct contact have been advised to remain at home. It is implementing measures to identify potential areas of exposure. The company has decided to operate with skeletal staff in two departments while it works with the Ministry of Health to take appropriate actions. Meanwhile, the National Democratic Congress is calling for an independent committee to look into the recent COVID-19 spike. Interim political leader Adrian Thomas made the call during a press conference on Monday. He says government must ensure that the country does not return to the days of the long lines at the supermarkets and shelter-in-place restrictions. We want to call for um an independent inquiry into the into the whole affairs. What gave rise to the, this flare up in the in, in the COVID cases in, in Grenada? Um, we want to know exactly whether the the Ministry of, of the Ministry of Tourism, the Cabinet. We want to make we want to find out if the Grenada Tourism Authority had some part to play in this thing. We want to know if they were collaborators in in, in, in causing this thing to happen. So we want, we call in on the government to carry out an inquiry into this matter. They must, um, we are also suggesting who should be involved in it because we do not want the government to be inquiring themselves. So we are suggesting and we are putting on the table that they must consult with the, with the TUC, they must consult with the teachers, um, they must consult with the business community and in get them involved in carrying out this independent inquiry. And this panel, uh, this panel must be headed by um, a retired judge. During the press briefing, Thomas demanded an apology from the prime minister and called for compensation for those who have been affected. The NDC's acting political leader said no company or organization should be given an unfair advantage in relation to COVID-19 protocols. We also calling on the, on the government that whatever protocol that has been established in the state must not be compromised by or for any entity. The protocols that are already been established must, and I say must, be adhered to. And if, we, if, we, if we're going to create a scenario whereby we have, um, we have protocols for some people, um, different protocol for some and different for and, and others and other for, for, for other people this will create chaos in our society we do not want to go down that in that direction 
Many were hoping for a return to normalcy for the Christmas holidays. I know I was. However, recent developments have thrown a spanner into the works. Several promoters were granted licenses to host parties and social gatherings. Health Minister Nicholas Steele says they are being reviewed and some licenses may be revoked. We are asking for individuals to proceed to necessary activities, work, purchasing of food, uh, banks, etc., but to avoid all social activities, all social gatherings. We are asking restaurants to, to move to uh, takeout only, no form of entertainment in house. We are asking bars to close, we are asking individuals as best as possible to be home uh, in, in the evening, not to sit there. Uh, we, we, we would like to avoid having to put a curfew on. We believe that our citizens will recognize and comply without having to put those necessary or, or, or those types of restrictions in place. My assumption is that individuals will go to work and then go home, stop and buy food or do necessary uh, uh, purchases or transactions and proceed home. The National Bus Association is taking steps to ensure COVID-19 remains at bay. The association's PRO is urging passengers to adhere to the health protocols for the safety and well-being of all concerned. Chris Lena John reports. Do your part. We'll do ours. That's the word from the National Buses Association. Following the announcement on the weekend of a spike in the number of COVID-19 cases on the island, Derek McKenzie, public relations officer of the NBA, says they will be leaving no stones unturned in ensuring safety of themselves and passengers. Um, I would like to speak to our members. Um, I would like to say to our members, let's adhere to the COVID-19 protocols. Um, ensure that passengers wear their masks um, before they enter the bus. Um, ensure that you sanitize them actually before you enter the bus. Because we have seen people coming into the bus without the mask and then while they're in the bus, you have to ask them to put it on. We want to try to avoid that and we want to also avoid people entering the bus with us being sanitized. To the general public, we want you to cooperate with us. We, the, the success of what we're trying to do to eliminate the COVID-19 um, depends on all of us. It has to be a collaborative effort between the public and the bus operators. Passengers are being asked to comply or else it would hate for us to have to ask people or persons to drop off. I, I think what we're we asking is reasonable. It's just a, a cooperation. A bus ride could be 15 minutes or maybe for the longer distance, a little bit more. Um, it's for your own safety. So one shouldn't have to drop for not wanting to wear a mask. I, I, I don't think that makes sense. In cases, you might have to drop a passenger. You might have to lose a, a fear or some kind of thing like that. But it's better to lose two. 50 than to lose your life or to get um, infected. From his observation, people have become a bit complacent and now there will be full adherence to the rules. We are trying to be very proactive. Um, we had instances where not only in the bus fraternity but um, all through the island where we had let our guard down. And um, the NBA has taken the initiative uh, as we speak, um, are actually sourcing sanitizers. So tomorrow, um, we uh, members of the NBA would be at the terminus with sanitizers for our members. As we enter the Christmas season, this is his final message to the nation. I would like to say to everyone, um, let's have a, a safe holiday. I'm not sure if I'll be making another media appearance um, before the holiday, but just in case, let's be safe. Let's um, spend wisely, um, save for food, spend on food, spend on things like medicine, the things that are necessary, and let's not try to um, put our, our heart where our hands can reach. So have a happy holiday and um, uh, looking forward to see all of us healthy and COVID free in um, 2021. Bus operators remain a critical component of Grenada's commerce in the absence of a national transportation system. Christina John, GBN News.
Still ahead, policemen caught in a kind act. We'll be right back. Running low on groceries? Why not visit realvalueiga.com and experience our new online shopping platform. Place your order, then go out and enjoy your day to spend more time with friends and family. Free delivery available within select locations or in-store pickup available. Sounds simple, right? It is. Stress less, live more with Real Value IGA Online Store, where good food begins. This Christmas, we need the good vibes more than ever. At LA Purcell, shop all new selections at our home goods, appliance, and hardware stores. Brighten things up at our color center with paint to put the finishing touches on the industry's best building supplies. Last but not least, our annual yard sale is on again for two weeks at the LA Purcell car park in town and three weeks at our Riverwood store, both starting December 5th. Come and and name your price. And remember, Brussels' motto is cash if you have it or credit if you want it. Grenada Electricity Services Limited advises shareholders and other stakeholders about the postponement of its 61st annual general meeting, originally scheduled for Thursday, 17th December 2020. The decision to postpone the meeting follows the recently announced COVID-19 cluster. We apologize for any inconvenience and will provide further updates. How going on, boy? Hey, hey, good, old things. Hey, Daisy. Yeah. Boy, in line, boy. Your house looking a real good day. Boy, it's thanks to the hardworking and professional staff at the Housing Authority of Grenada. They handled me real nice. They did my plan, they did the construction, and I didn't even have to worry about that thing. They were there with me every step of the way, supervising the job, asking me about my concerns, giving me feedback as the house took shape. They were there from start to finish, and even put the keys in the palm of my hand. I give them an A for customer service. Oh, it's people from housing bad boy. Boy, not bad. Excellent. If you're thinking about constructing your home, why not consult the Housing Authority of Grenada? You could visit them right down in the Sandino complex or give them a call 440-1015 or 440-1016. Or check out their website, hag473.com. They go handle you. They go jog your blocks. They go draw your plan. They go talk your materials. <laughs> hey, man, where you going? The Housing Authority of Grenada is your choice for affordable housing and a stress-free construction experience. Do you want to win loads of prizes this Christmas with BIP? Join our Spin to Win promotion to win exciting prizes daily. Here's how. Go to the Discover section of the BIP app. Search for the Spin to Win channel and click Follow. Once you have followed the channel, click the Spin Now button, choose your device type, select your country, and wait for the wheel to start spinning. Be quick. When your wheel lands on the correct prize of the day, screenshot the prize and send your screenshot to the Spin to Win chat to enter the promotion. Click the Daily Updates button to get updates on the prize you are requesting to spin for each day and also to know if you are the lucky winner of the day. A Merry Christmas, spin and win with Bib. Get the Christmas feeling at Dean's Mattress today and all through the holiday season. Dean's is bringing you absolute great Christmas chair. Your reward? Supportive, a comfortable feel when you get a mattress from Dean's this Christmas season. Special offers on beds, foam, divans, and mattresses. Call Dean's today about your needs for odd size mattresses, baby crib mattresses, and mattresses for yards. And of course, all the smart shoppers who placed your items on layaway, get them today. A special offer from
from Dean's. Free delivery island-wide and to the boat for the Caracou and Pity Martini customers. Call Dean's now, 440-3240 or 440-0552. Dean's Mattress, where quality is never compromised. Merry Christmas from Dean's Mattress. This is GBN. We've got the means, the power, and the medium. This segment is brought to you by Flu. Your hard work, talent, and creativity, plus Flow, equals more ways to chase your dreams. Flow is connecting all of Grenada, from Point Salines to Hillsborough with the most reliable connection on the island. <laughs> so now everyone can work, study, and keep moving forward together. Visit discoverflow.co for more information. The World Health Organization has warned that Christmas celebrations could turn to tears if people fail to keep up their guard against the COVID-19 during the festive season. WHO Chief Tedro says the number of deaths in the coronavirus pandemic was surging and urged people to think very carefully about their holiday season plans. He told a news conference the festive season is a time to relax and celebrate, but celebration can very quickly turn to sadness if we fail to take the right precautions. The WHO official said, and I quote, as you prepare to celebrate over the coming weeks, please, please consider your plans carefully. If you live in an area with high transmission, please take every precaution to keep yourselves and others safe. That could be the best gift you can give, the gift of health, end of quote. As we get ready to close off the first half of the newscast tonight, we move on to a lighter subject. It's time to take a peek through the GBN ISOL lens. A good eye catches all. GBN ISOL is brought to you by Clevision. You know us, but we knew. You feel at home with every visit. An experienced team offering personalized courtier service and trendy brand name lifestyle products. We're changing the vision care landscape one customer at a time. Clear Vision Eye Center. People and technology coming together to help you see the world with a clearer vision. No good deed goes unnoticed as long as our ISO reporters are around. Officers of the traffic mobile team were captured doing just that, a good deed. They were photographed assisting a senior citizen by replacing a front tire that was dislodged while the vehicle was in motion along the Belmont Public Road. Our ISO reporter said kudos to Constable Number 865 Mitchell and 354 Harry. Send us your photo and video submissions via WhatsApp on 405. 3052 or our other social media platforms. I think I need his number for when my tire is flat. Anyways, coming up, we take a look at sports. This is GBN News. Why do all this more? Things tight since COVID, you know. And Christmas coming, uh, the toys to build, I uh, mean house and uh, my car to repair, uh, the wife wants you to weave on. What you want me to do? I'm expected to do all that more. But what you want me to do? Why do I go down my commune? You don't have to pay them until January. They have 20,000 in giveaway giving away. And the interest rate, low, low, low. And listen to me. I try them orders and them, never lose good. Who they want them on? What watch? Like, like they're more than your ass. Choose your loan at communal giving you the money for what you want to do. It's a loan for you. You know what? I'll get them out. Listen, listen. Where are you going on this month? Don't need it. Leave the month, man. When you go down there, the rates low, low, low. Low, low, low. <laughs> Hello. 
them coconut, from lemon, passion fruit, sorrel, even the exotic spice syrup. Ah, the flavored rums of Grenada Distillers Limited. Class gold? Yes, girl. They are all produced by the Grenada Distillers Limited in Woodlands. You know, all their rums are world class and internationally acclaimed. Winners of numerous gold medals. George F. Huggins and Company, Grenada Limited. A telephone number 440-8787. Or visit our website at www.tropical.com. Email us at grenadasales at tropical.com. Tropical Shipping. Committed to island life. It's new, innovative and classy, and it cut above the rest. Your one-stop shop for bathtubs, kitchener, customized doors and windows, and even a new paint job. We also sell quartz and solid surface countertops. At Eminent Hardware, we offer best prices, excellent service, efficiency, and reliability. Visit us at Dusty Highway, Grand Dance St. George, or call telephone number 440-6757. Eminent and Hardware, from foundation to roof, let's build together. It's a strawberry affair. December specials at Escape to Haven Health Spa by Nirvana. Indulge and excite your senses with our strawberry full body massage. $125. Kids, $80. Strawberry pedicures, $70. Kids, $50. Strawberry facials, $100. Kids, $50. Strawberry full body scrub, $90. Come on, be honest. You know it's long over overdue for some real body care. Call or message us on 231-6642-418-7115 or 449-7753. Opening hours are Mondays to Saturdays, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. and Sundays, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Give your family or friend a gift of body care by purchasing a gift certificate. Celebrate your birthday or anniversary with us and receive a complimentary glass of strawberry champagne. Escape to Haven Health Spa by Nirvana. Excel Plaza Grand Dance. We know real body care. This offer ends January 3rd. Hills and Valley Med Care Center, located on Grenville Street, St. George's, has a highly professional team that gives excellent service in massage therapy, physiotherapy, speech therapy, medical consultation, and more. Hills and Valley Med Care Center sells a wide range of medical supplies, offers home visits for patients in Grenada and Carrier Coo, and opens Monday to Saturday, 10 a.m. through to 7 p.m. Visit or call Hills and Valley Medcare Center today, 435-6904. Keeping an eye on the weather, this is GBN. We've got you covered. Weather for Grenada, Caracol, and Pitti Martinique valid for tonight and the following three days. Weather tonight generally fair, becoming partly cloudy at times with few brief showers. Tonight's minimum temperature 24.5 degrees Celsius, winds east northeasterly to easterly at 8 to 18 miles per hour, seas slight to moderate, waves 3 to 5 feet in open waters. There is no warning for tonight, tides would be low at 9.30 p.m. and high at 3 a.m. Weather for Tuesday, December 15th, generally fair and breezy, becoming partly cloudy at times with few brief showers possible. Weather for Wednesday, December 16th, generally fair and breezy, becoming partly cloudy at times with few brief evening showers possible.
And weather for Thursday, December 17th, partly cloudy and breezy, becoming occasionally cloudy at times, with few brief morning and nighttime showers. It's a final that spectators and fans will never forget as FC Kamahorn accomplished the unthinkable against popular votes as they became the newest champions of the Waggity Super Knockout Football Tournament. The match ended 4-2 in favor of FC Kamahorn, who rebounded from a two-goal deficit as Paradise FC International scored early. Forwards Cedra Lewis and Joshua Isaac scored in the second and 22nd minute. They didn't go scoring it. They didn't go scoring the tournament with nine goals so far, and he'll be featured prominently here, I'm sure. To let you know that the team Paradise with a first opportunity here, and Sergio Lewis scores. One nil in favor of Paradise in the second minute of play. Sergio Lewis already scoring seven goals in the tournament, takes his tally to eight. <laughs> what an opening encounter here for Nixon Modas and FC Kamahon. Oh, it, it's very depressing for FC Kamahon. In the end, uh, it was O'Neill Hosten who got the better of it. Miss here by goalkeeper. The player goes down, the referee whistle goes. He indicates it's going to be a direct kick just outside of the penalty area. FC Kamahan. But let's see what Joshua Isaac does. Shot oh. down and scores. Great goal here by Joshua Isaac. He takes his tally to five and he brings Paradise FC International two goals up in the finals of the Wagiti tournament. Exhilarating. A good shot here taken by Joshua Isaac, beating the wall. As we look back here, it was just to the, the right of the wall. Patrick Bodas turning his back to it, and goalkeeper Chad Phillip beating off his mark here. A good free kick, a free kick taken. However, Raheem Stevens scored a brace. Kimron Marshall scored one to draw the game to all, and Kwesi Theodore netted one to grab the win and secure their first major championship. Specialist as well is tell us what. Good lay on here to Patrick Bodes, and he finds Stephen. Stephen converts and scores for FC Kamahorn to pull one back in the 29 minute. Rhyme Stephen finds uh, uh, the first goal for FC Kamahorn. This was a brilliant passage of play. Um, number seven, Ryan number seven, Stephen. Rhyme Stephen. And it's an equalizer, a good free kick taken by John Maltelasot. It's Cameron Marshall, the defender, the tall defender, who finds the equalizer and puts this game into a different perspective altogether. Smitty, we were just, uh, we were just speaking about the pressure that um, Kamahon was putting uh, Paradise under. And it, it, you could have seen it. About I a minute ago, uh, they had an opportunity. The goalkeeper was beaten. And shoving. That's all that Millet with it here, being a hustle and robbed of it here. But here's a chance for Kwesi Teodo, and Teodo finds the go-ahead goal for FC Kamahon. The leading goal scorer in the tournament, Kwesi Teodo. I told you there's another goal in this encounter, I told you that. Ball given away by Paradise FC International. Ryan Steven on the loose here now, Belfort off his line, and he scores! We were calling for his substitution, but he had another moment of glory. Four goals to two in favor of FC Kamahorn. Magnificent from FC Kamahorn. Look at the ecstasy. Look at this here at the Karani James Athletic Stadium. This was a superb counter-attack. Paradise lost the ball in the defense. And Jason... Hurricanes SC won the third place playoff, defeating Saab Spartans three goals to one.
Moving on to table tennis, officials from the Ministry of Sports, the Grenada Olympic Committee and the Grenada Table Tennis Association say they are elated with the participation by young people in the recent tournament. Coordinator of Sports Curlan Peters said the ministry is continuing their support for table tennis and its development. I must, say we, I must say we in the Ministry of Sports um, pledge our continuous support to the development of the sport of table tennis through all our community sports program, through, um, through all the discussion that is held with the association to make sure that they get the support that are required so that the sports could grow. Um, last year, only we had distributed over five table tennis boards to some of the schools um, through the request of our senior coach so that the, the, the sports could continue. The Olympic Committee's secretary, Vida Bruno Victor, said she was pleased to see the interest from young players and the support of the veterans. When we see young people, so many young people participating in a tournament, and we see the older ones being there to guide them along, we are encouraged that the game would move on. The game cannot only move on with young people without guidance from the older one. So we are encouraged to see this happening. And I just want to commend all of you and to say that the Olympic Committee is the only premier association that we supported this year by buying equipment. And we are there to support you and to help you as you move on. President of the Table Tennis Association, Dr. Alistair Antoine, was also in high praise of the youth involvement in the sport. So we had an improvement or an increase in the number of teams taking part this year. And I, I must say that table tennis is very much alive and well in the trial and state. And uh, this process started um, some years ago, especially we must credit the um, um, the Secretary of the um, GOC, while, while PS at the Ministry of Sports, was able to um, create positions for sports um, coaches in the ministry, and so which increased the amount of persons playing in the schools throughout the, the, um, the, the, the country. Joshua Da Silva made a hugely impressive half century on debut as West Indies suffered the pain of a second defeat to New Zealand at the Basin Reserve. The visitors made 317 in the second innings, their highest score of the four innings in this series, but however went on to an innings and 12 runs inside the first hour of the penultimate day of the second test. The defeat for West Indies followed on the heels of their innings and won 134-run loss at Seddon Park last week. Resuming on 244 for six, West Indies lost captain Jason Holder to the sixth ball of the morning, after he had added only one to his overnight 60. The 22-year-old Silva batted with maturing and great purpose in just his second test innings and converted his overnight 25 into 57, an innings that came off 84 balls and two and a half hours and included six fours. The draw for the UEFA Champions League round of 16 has been confirmed. Liverpool will face last season semi-finalist RB Leipzig in the last 16 of the Champions League, while Chelsea come up against Atletico Madrid. Manchester City will face Borussia Mönchengladbach, who are in the last 16 for the first time since 1978. Holders Bayern Munich face Italian side Lazio, who are in the knockout stage for the first time in 20 years. Barcelona face Paris Saint-Germain in arguably the tie of the round, a repeat of their 2017 classic. That's it for Sports Up.
recap of tonight's headlines. Health Ministry and Sandals Resorts come under fire for apparent lax regulations as Grenada's COVID-19 cases skyrocket. Opposition party calls for investigation into COVID-19 outbreak at Sandals. Eerie calm at Post Royal St. Andrews cited as COVID-19 hotspot. Electricity company scales back operations as staff member tests positive for COVID-19. Members of the public offering varying perspectives on whether the country should be placed on lockdown for Christmas. Licenses for social events to be revoked. And in around the globe, medical officials in St. Lucia welcome new contact tracing app and first shipments of COVID-19 vaccine arrive at distribution centers across the U.S. In sports, FC Camahon crowned Waggy T Super Knockout Football Tournament champion. If you missed any part of this newscast, a repeat of it will be broadcast at 10 o'clock tonight. Continue to follow us online at www.gbn.gd or GBN Television's Facebook page and YouTube channel for these and other top stories. I'm Chris Lynn Lashington. That's the news. We'll see you again. Good night.